So, uh, yeah. I grew boobs. So, hey everybody, long time no see. You're probably wondering where in the hell I've been. You're probably saying to yourself, what the heck Shannon, you drop a video about your cousin's wedding and then you just vanish. What have you been up to? Are you okay? Did you just black out after the reception? Did you ever make it out of the woods? Where have you been? I've been in the same place I always tell you I am. Around. So, yeah, anyway, and I've been working, keeping busy and you know, living my best life. And in the meantime, this situation happened, and I realized that this overdramatic nonsense was like six months ago. I mean, where did the time go? The people assume that time is a strict progression of cause to effect, but actually, from a non-linear, non-subjective viewpoint, it's more like a big ball of wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey stuff. Not now, Tenant! And I figured that I should do a six month update. Yeah, so, I mean, if you look at the date on that video, you're probably going, hey, Shannon, you know what? That's actually uh, about seven months ago, so you're a month late. And to that, I just say, you know what? Let's just not confuse the issue with a bunch of facts. All right, thanks, all right. So yeah, for the last uh, six plus months, I've been on a daily regimen of uh, spironolactone and um, estradiol which are a um, testosterone blocker and an estrogen replacement. And they have been effective. So, Mr. Vanished, I'm done. All right, cool. Good job, we did it, guys. Well, no, not quite. So, the way my doctor put it at my um, three-month checkup was that in a four-quarter game, I was about five minutes into the first quarter, um, so I guess at this point I'm about 10 minutes in. It's an ongoing process, but I do think it's important to do this video and let people out there know how HRT can affect you. It does take time and it takes a little while for you to start noticing changes, but I will say that there are some changes that you notice more immediately than others. Um, the first thing that I noticed, um, is, well, spironolactone is a diuretic, and if you don't know, part of the way that it works is that it flushes testosterone out of your system. So basically, right after I started... Yeah. Like... Like a lot. But that did taper off after a little while. Thank God. So the second thing that I noticed is, well, rather obvious. HRT is a hormone replacement therapy. It is messing with your hormonal balance. So essentially, you go through puberty again. Which is just wonderful. I'm in a glass case of emotion! But aside from um, being an emotional basket case and being all the time, it took a while for me to really start noticing any physical changes. So the first thing I did start noticing was that this general area um, hurt. Like, you know, when you were a kid, did you ever have like a friend like shoot you with a rubber band? Yeah, it was kind of like that, but here and here. Ouch. And honestly, it does take a while for anything to start developing. And just like any woman who was assigned female at birth, that process does take a while, generally a few years. Like I said, still in the first quarter. Later on, I did start noticing um, my skin started getting softer, which is nice. I don't break out quite as much anymore. And then I started to get some fat redistribution. So. Um, so a lot of the fat which was hanging out here has kind of moved down over here and um, I got a little bit of a waist going on. Some of my pants don't quite fit anymore, but you make do and you get new pants. Oh, I should also mention that along with becoming a uh, slightly emotionally unstable hormonal mess, another thing that does come along with um, puberty, if you will remember, is being ravenously hungry. So that's something that you got to watch out for because, yeah, calories. 
And something that a lot of you who are thinking about HRT will probably wonder about is what exactly happens with the hair situation. It does affect hair growth. Um, however, again, that does take time. Um, I will say that um, the hair on my arms and legs, chest, etc., has diminished. What does grow grows a lot more slowly, but it still takes time for the hormones to do their job. And generally, from what I understand, um, eventually most of it will go away. As far as if you um, have any hair loss, the HRT will help to stop that. It won't make any hair that you've lost return, unfortunately, um, but it will keep you from losing more. Beard hair. Again, it does help slow um, the growth of facial hair. However, it does not eliminate that. So that's something that um, if you have um, facial hair, especially if you have thick facial hair, there are other interventions that you're going to have to do. Um, you may have to continue to shave. If you are looking to eliminate it altogether, um, there are a couple different options. You can do um, laser hair removal or electrolysis. Electrolysis is permanent laser hair removal. The jury is still a little out on that, but those are two different options. Um, and they vary in price range depending on who you go to, where you are, etc. Unfortunately, again, they're not magic pills and HRT will not take care of that. So all in all, I have to say, six months in, almost seven months in, um, I'm very happy with the results I've gotten by being on HRT, but I do have a long road ahead of me and I'm looking forward to see where that will take me. Again, it's not a fix-all. It's something that is an aid to help you along your journey. And if you are trans, it's not necessarily something you have to do. You do not have to be on HRT. Absolutely 100% you do not. Some people can't, some people don't want to. Um, there are myriad different reasons why you wouldn't, and that no way invalidates your identity or your experience whatsoever. So not a lot to report, some changes, not a ton, but overall I found it to be very helpful and I'm in a good place as far as that goes. So let me know, are you on HRT? Are you thinking about it? If you are thinking about starting hormone replacement therapy, um, I'll leave some information down in the description. Do make sure that you talk to your doctor, seek medical advice before you get on any kind of regimen. Do not, under any circumstances, start taking hormones on your own. Again, do not start taking hormones on your own. Again, it is messing with your body chemistry, and if it's not properly monitored, it can be dangerous. So, please, make sure you talk to your doctor beforehand before you do anything. And I guess that's all I've really got for right now. So, um, I'll see you around. Oh god, there's no sugar in here. Oh. Uh. Uh. <laughs>